Gymnastics. And we have a, a lot of our returning players here today, a lot of our letter winners from last year, and we're excited to be here. And of course, how many years is this for you now? Uh, well, I think this is our 19th year. Is it your 19th? Yes. I know yeah. it's been a long time. It's been great. It's Absolutely. been great. Absolutely. Yes. This is a great program, of course. Gymnastics is a terrific sport. And what do you, I'll ask you right off the bat, what is, what's your outlook for this year? We're really excited about this year. We lost four seniors that were uh, very impactful for our program, but we have three amazing freshmen coming in, uh, one, of our, one of them local, and we have a great returning squad from last year, and last year we were actually undefeated at home, so we're really excited about continuing that on and, and having a great season. You lost four, you said. Oh, yes. Well, that's great. A lot of returning, a lot of returning ladies. Yep, and actually of the four, when we were at the regional championships, only six of those routines came from those four gymnasts. And so we compete 24 routines. So we actually have a lot of people to fill in those spots and, of course, our freshmen. So we feel good about our outlook. I don't blame you. You have, let's see, two, four, six here all together. Do you want to just give a quick introduction and I'll talk to each one individually? Sure, the first one right next to me here is Shannon Golich. She's from the Chicago area, and she's going to be a junior. Oh, let me oh, yeah, go, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Then I'll talk to her. <laughs> Sorry about ahead. that. That's it, mate. Kayla Slecta is going to be a sophomore. She's from Shakopee, Minnesota. Lucy Ennis is going to be a senior. She is from Roseville, Minnesota. Alex Speakin is from Tampa, Florida. She's going to be a sophomore. Brianna Jones is our captain this year. She is from Grand Forks, North Dakota. And Amber Hammerschmidt is from Burnsville, Minnesota. Rosemont, Minnesota, sorry. Uh, and she's also going to be a senior this year. All right, Jacoby, I didn't know that. Which one's from Jacoby? You are. Did you know who I am, don't you? Yes. I thought you were. <laughs> I can't hide from those Jacoby people, that's for sure, since I'm there all the time. All right, we'll start off with this lovely blonde lady. That is, yeah, Shannon. What's yeah. your last name? In case I missed it. Golich. Shannon Golich. Yep. What year are you in school? I'm going to be a junior. Junior, okay. And what are you majoring in? A sport management. Hey, a lot of people, a lot of <laughs> youngster, young athletes are majoring in that. That's not bad. That's good. Is there what? What is your specialty? Um, I love the beam, and then I also like court. Okay, anybody that you uh, you're, that you watch the Olympics or anything that you pattern yourself after or would like to be like? <laughs> um, well, my favorite has always been Carly Patterson. Uh -huh. so I look, I always, I've watched her and I loved looking at her. Okay, that that makes sense. What are what would a normal day be for you in, in training or whatever? What would that, could you describe that? Um, well, I wake up in the morning. I'll go to class. Go to school and then eat lunch, head over to the gym, and then also go to work at night, do homework, and wake up the following day and it's starting all over again. So. Do you work also, you said? Yep. What do you do? <laughs> right now I'm working at Gold Country. Are you really? Yep. That's a good plug for me. Right, in, <laughs> right inside, Gold Country has all the souvenirs. Yes. That's great, that's great. Did you play other sports? Um, I danced for seven years before this. Did you really? Yep. Okay, well that's terrific. That's yep. great. What's your outlook on this year's squad? And Meg just mentioned, how do you feel about it? Um, I think it's a great opportunity for us. I know we're going to do very well. We've been working hard in the gym. We all have positive attitudes, and we all have one set goal. So. Oh, here I got you. Yeah, well, that's a good three to look at. Yeah. When, when does the first meet? When does the first meet come up? Um, January 7th, yes. Okay, January, yeah. I should mention. Ohio State. Okay, we have a home schedule, we'll read it off a little bit later, but that's great. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're looking forward to it. Is there any, any one school that you'd rather defeat more than another? It's always been Iowa for us, so. Iowa and Iowa State, so. You know, Iowa and... And then Michigan, too. Of oh, course, yeah. we got to beat Michigan. Do me a favor and beat Michigan, will you? That's, yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've never liked Michigan sports. <laughs> That's the truth. And I don't know if it's the color, the maze of blue, or what, but I just have never liked them. So every time we can beat them. Arrogant, but thank you. That's very good. <laughs> we'll beat them. We'll beat Michigan. Oh, yes. Hey, thank you for coming over to the pair. Oh, yeah. Appreciate My it. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Let me pass the mic. That she has one. All right. Now you can tell them who you are. Um, I'm Kayla Selecta. And what, what you're in school? From Shakopee, by the way. Yes. Right. Um, 
I'm gonna be a sophomore. Okay, you're only a sophomore? Well, it seems like that you should be older than that for some reason. Okay, very good. And what's your specialty? Hold that up a little bit. I do all four events, but my favorites are vault and floor. Okay, very good. And in high school, did you do more than just gymnastics? I try uh, to remember. No. You did, that was it. But I went to a lot of the games and cheered for other people. Well, you were there. You were there when I was announcing. I know that. I yep. saw you a few times. Yep. That's great. <laughs> That's, what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in kinesiology. You are? Okay, I could never even say it. Now I'm, hear, I'm hearing it from everybody. That's great. That's terrific. What, uh, what's your outlook for this year? What do you think? Um, I think we have a um, great team, and we have really great incoming freshmen, and I think we're going to do really well this year, and we know, what it take, we know what we need to do to get there, and I think we're going to get the Nationals this year as a team. We'll have fun. How many are actually on a gymnastic squad? How many basically? We have 13 this year. 13? Yep. So you get to know each other pretty well, different different styles yeah. or whatever you do? We're really close. Oh, that's great. That is outstanding. Why did you decide to come to Minnesota? Um, well, I've been, since I live in Minnesota, I've been coming to Gopher Meet since I was really low. So I always wanted to be a Gopher, and when I came here on my visit, it just felt right. I got that feeling that maybe you just want to stay here. That's excellent. Oh, that begs glad you're here. We're glad that you came. Nice to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Best of luck this year. Thank you. All right. Next, your name. Hello. I am Lucy Ennis. Yes. From where, Lucy? I'm from Roseville, Minnesota. Okay. Very good. You went to high school in Roseville? I didn't. I went to a private school in Egan. Oh, okay. Community school. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Were you involved in uh, gymnastics there? I was not. I went to a club in Champaign, Minnesota called the City Sisters. Mike Hunger and Sandy Wadney. Shout out to them. So, yes, it was a lovely club experience. Is that where you guys started, basically? Pardon? Is that how you guys started, really? No, I actually went to a club in Roseville. I was there for quite a while and then um, throughout high school I was there. What's your specialty? I train all four events, but my favorite are vaults and bars. Really? Vaults and bars? Okay. Very good. Excellent. And what are you majoring in? Um, health and social justice. Oh, okay. Very, very good. We're going to go into nursing. Are you? Okay, that's great. That, that sounds very, very good. What are what are some of the things that you, uh, what year do you say you're in school? I guess, I'm sorry. I'm a senior. Okay, some, some memories. Do you have any specific memories of any major, maybe individual things that you did? But I'll bragging, I'll start bragging, I don't think. Okay, my all-time favorite memory actually takes all the way back to the beginning, which is when they first offered me a scholarship. So that was probably my all-time favorite, and then... The next one that ranks was hosting Big Ten this year. It was, a blast. it was so fun to be at home, and the crowd was incredible. And just to have everybody at home and to show them what a great arena we have, and also what a great, classy program we are as well, was really neat. That's great. I should mention, thank you as long as we have this here. The, hit, the schedule, as you mentioned earlier, against Ohio State on the 7th of January at 6 o'clock, then Michigan comes in 6 o'clock on the 21st of January. Penn State will be here on the 28th at 6. Uh, Saturday, the 11th and 12th of February, Best of Minnesota with Winona State, Gus Davis, Hamlin, and the Gophers. That's at 6 o'clock. The 18th of February, Nebraska. They hated Nebraska Cornhuskers. will be here at 6. And they wrap up their home meet schedule on March 10th at 6 o'clock with Iowa State. So that's a pretty... Pretty impressive schedule. It's a tough schedule this year, for sure. Absolutely, that should be great. Well, we certainly wish you the best. Do you have any personal goals? Do you have any personal goals for this year? Personal goals are just to have fun this year. To enter into the team atmosphere, we have a great set of girls. It's going to be awesome. And just to um, set a goal and work towards that, but enjoy it in the process. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Next. Go right ahead. Your name, please. I'm Alex. I'll see you last name. Deacon. From where? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida? Yes. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, are you a fan of theirs? Yeah, I am. Are you, they're coming in here, do you notice that? September 18th, they okay, play the Vikings cool. at yeah, the Metrodome. I'm a Vikings, oh, are you, I'm a Viking fan. Are you a Vikings yeah. Who's your favorite Viking? Uh, Percy, it's Percy. Percy Harvin? Yeah, Percy Harvin. That's because he's from Florida. Yeah. So I know, see? <laughs> Mine is Adrian Peterson, but I know, it was, I thought it would be Percy, yeah. Percy Harvin. Okay, okay that's all right. And what year are you in school? I'm going to be a sophomore. Okay. And what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in marketing. Marketing? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of these people that are working here at the fair. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're looking forward to sports marketing or what is it? Um, I don't know yet. 
I, I'm really interested in the business field, so I'd like to eventually own my own business of some sort. Great. I don't know what yet. Good. And what do you? What's your specialty? Um, I really like beam. That's what I competed a lot last year, and so that's my favorite. From Tampa, Florida, you must have played other sports other than gymnastics. Um. Well, I went swimming a lot. I went swimming a lot. <laughs> I, I can almost understand that. I can understand that. Yeah, so. I did some horseback riding too. Fishing. Horseback riding? Yeah. Fishing? Yeah, deep sea really? fishing. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to come here from Tampa? Um, well, I visited here, and the coaches are amazing and really nice, and I love the girls. And my parents used to live in Minnesota, and so I knew the area, and I liked it here. Well, I'm a big fan of Meg Stevenson, so if, if I were a gymnast, I'd probably want to be here too. Yeah. Actually, I don't blame you. I love it here. What, what do you think about this year's uh, outlook for the team? Oh, I'm really excited. We have great freshmen coming in. We're really close to the team, and we have that good team bond. And so I think we'll really go far. I'm looking forward to it. Great. Nice to have you in Minnesota. Yeah, nice to have you. All right, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, your name, please. I'm Brianna Jones. Brianna, where are you from? Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh, I was born in Fargo. Yeah. Okay. Do you, you remember that? that? Yeah. Fargo, not the end of the world, but you can see it from there. <laughs> I'll touch what everybody tells me, and I think that's probably, probably very, very true. Right. What year are you in school? I'm a senior. So you've been through a lot of things, a lot of memories, I'm sure? Yes. Any particular ones that you want to share with us? Um, I always just remember my very first meet as a freshman and just running out with Goldie and the excitement and hearing my name called, and it was, it was really cool. I was like, wow, this is a big deal. <laughs> and what is your specialty? Um, I've specialized on beam and floor. Okay, and uh, as far as uh, majoring, what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in physiology. Physiology. I can say that without any trouble, I think, but that's about, that's about it. What, what, what team would you like to defeat more than any other team? Um, gosh, so many. Uh, <laughs> I really want to defeat uh, Nebraska and Michigan, and I want to win Big Ten, so... All the Big Ten teams. Excellent. Beat them all. It's fun to be with Bank, isn't it? What? She's a great coach, isn't she? Yeah. I, had, I knew she'd say that. That's why I said that. <laughs> you have to say it. Uh, has it gone real fast for you as far as school? Yeah, I, can't, I can't believe I'm in my last year already. It's crazy. Yeah, it does go fast, absolutely. Very, very true. Well, we appreciate you. You were here last year, weren't you? Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Didn't I have a blonde joke for you last year? Yeah. Which yeah. one did I tell? Do you remember? <laughs> No. Didn't I tell the one about the blonde that calls the airlines? She said, how long does it take to fly to Los Angeles? The guy says, just a minute. She said, thank you, and she hung up. I don't think that. Uh, you know. <laughs> or, of course, uh, uh, how about the blonde sitting at the breakfast table? Maybe I told you that one. Right, blonde sitting at the breakfast table staring at the orange juice carton. Her husband said, what are you looking at? Well, she said it says concentrate. Uh, no, that's the way to tell. Okay. Well, it's good to see you again, Brianna. Thank you. Thank you. Brianna Jones. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. And next, and uh, last, but not least, your name? Amber Hammerschmidt. Amber Hammerschmidt. Where from? Rosemont, Minnesota. Good, good town. I've been there many times for different events. Pretty close. What year are you in school? I'm a senior as well. Okay. And uh, has it gone as quick for you as you mentioned very fast? Crazy fast. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. What's your specialty? Um, I would say floor, but I like beam as well. So. Okay. And what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in public health and nutrition. Oh, really? Public health and nutrition? Okay. Yeah. Why did you decide uh, Minnesota? I actually transferred. I went to ASU my first year, and I transferred back to Minnesota. I really miss the Minnesota nice people, and um, it really was a family environment, so that's kind of what brought me back here. We are we get a reputation of being Minnesota nice. That's very it's true. It's really true. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, they always say that uh, all the Boy Scouts here in Minnesota, they help elderly ladies across the street even if they don't want to go. And I think that's really kind of a nice, a nice thing. So we've been through a lot of things. And sometimes a bad rap, but mostly everything has been good. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you looking forward to this year as far as the, the season? Um, I'm really looking forward to just getting out there and showing everyone what we got. We started out really well last year, and I just want to start out like that again this year and um, really bring the Minnesota classy gymnastics back and just show people what we really have and be out there as one of the top teams again. So, 
How do you like the what was mentioned a little bit the facilities at the university? Do you like that? Do you like the facilities? Oh yeah, it's amazing. The um, weight training and all of our other coaches. We have the um, athletic trainers. It's really great environment. I think so too. And of course, an opportunity, as I mentioned, come on out and watch some great gymnasts. I really yeah. think it's going to be it's really a really terrific fun. opportunity for them to see some. And we are giving out some vouchers for gamers for the individual meets, which start the seventh of January, by the way, against Ohio State. So there's a good there's a good rival right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for being here, and best of luck in thank your you. career too after after volleyball. Volleyball. No. I know I'd say that. <laughs> See, I, I, try to, I try to keep these sports separate. It's pretty tough after you do 12 or 14 of them. But I meant gymnastics. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Meg, hey, anything else that we should cover? Uh, do we have time for any questions, Marty? We do. Uh, anybody have a question of the gymnast, gymnastics team? We will be glad to take them. They'll be glad to answer them. Anything else you wanted to mention that uh, I might not I, have covered? I would just like to mention, if you haven't been to a Gopher Gymnastics meet, they're at the Sports Pavilion, usually Saturday nights at 6. And the great thing about Gopher Gymnastics meets is they're an hour and a half long and they are non-stop action. So if you've not given us a shot, get a voucher and come out and, and just experience uh, what these guys can do. It's pretty amazing. And uh, we have great competition this year with a lot of Big Ten teams. So we hope, we, uh, hope you'll give us a shot and come out and, and watch us. I am neglected to ask Kayla. She was an individual qualifier for the NCAAs last year. Can you talk a little bit about your experience, if you will? Um, it was such an amazing experience. Um, it's different because all the events are up on platform, so you're the only one can, that can be up on the platform while you're competing. So it's kind of like a bigger meet, so it's kind of like the Olympics in a way, so it's like you feel just like a star up there. And I just had a great, great time there. and. Um, yeah, I hope to bring my team there next year, and uh, I think they'll like it too. Kind of like a dream come true, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Meg, did you have something Let me up? just add to that. She did a great job representing our team there on the national stage. She actually missed being uh, making it to the finals and being uh, All-American on two events, floor and vaulting, by .025. And just to say something about this team, too, we did a great job at our regional meet and only missed meet qualifying to the championships, which is the top 12 teams in the country, by .025. So this is an amazing team that uh, you'll really enjoy watching. Okay, do you have any questions? Right here, thank you. Yeah, we have a question. Um, we wanted to know, do you guys recruit mostly from in-state? And uh, a follow-up to that is, do you recruit exclusively from the high schools, or do you also look at some of the local gymnastics clubs? Well, that's a great question. We recruit all over the world, actually. We just uh, uh, graduated someone from Japan and someone from Mexico. So we really look everywhere possible to find the best possible candidates. And I would say 99.9% .9 of our recruits come from the private club program, uh, the JOUSAG program. And the reason for that is that program really mirrors the collegiate training program. It's a year-round sport. Um, and the, the, the hours per day that those kids put in, it's a nice transition over to collegiate gymnastics. So that's, that's pretty much why, why that has worked that way in the past. Good question. All right, one more question. Have you had any elite gymnasts participate in your pro program and actually end up down on the national team at the early range? We've had several elites on our team, but they have usually done their elite competitive uh, um, experience prior to coming to college. Um, the rules are different, especially now. And uh, right now we have Justine Sherwink, who's going to come up on stage. She did not get the memo. And um, she actually trained in the elite program the uh, summer before her freshman year, which was last year and did a great job. Uh, we were hopeful she might make the BZ Championships this year, but she suffered an injury, which kind of set her back. But definitely was a candidate to, uh, to make that. But typically, uh, in the past, most elite gymnasts will, will do the international uh, part before they come to college. However, at the BZ Championships, which were just uh, in August, 
there were two gymnasts competing that had just graduated from college. So that was really exciting to see, and I think we will see more of that in the future. Justine, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Justine Sherwing. Um, I'm going to be a sophomore on the team. I'm from Texas, and I came here a little late, sorry. But at least I'm here. Um, what else would I What's your major? My major is chemical engineering. So I'm getting into my major courses now, which will be fun. I'm excited for this upcoming year. And uh, what's your specialty? I'm more of a vaulter and tumbler. Okay. Because I'm kind of powerful. <laughs> She's very powerful. Powerful? I've never careful. Okay. Yeah, very. And, right. But she does train all four events. She does train all four. Oh, that's excellent. Great. Just a sophomore, you said? Yep. All right. And where are you from? Did you mention that? Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, in Texas, right. Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, excellent. Nice. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate that. Do we have time? Another question? Do I have time, Marty? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Any other questions? Do you mostly recruit for, I'm sorry, to add Peter to the screen. Um, two questions. One, have you had anyone from Twin City Twisters come to your team? Awesome. Two right now. <laughs> Amber and Lucy. And do you mostly recruit um, for specialty or are you looking for people who are all around gymnasts? We typically, for, for scholarship candidates, we look for all around gymnasts. Um, however, every year is a little bit different um, because it depends on who we graduate and what their specialties were. This year, for example, we graduated some all arounders, so we were definitely looking for all arounders. So, but typically, a scholarship gymnast, we're looking for an all around competitor, someone who at least can contribute on three events. All right, I, I, other questions? Okay, well, we want to thank these lovely ladies, gymnasts, and of course, Coach Meg Stevenson. How about a nice hand for these fine, lovely ladies? Don't forget again. Your first meet is uh, January 7th against Ohio State. Take that 6 in. 6 p.m. At 6 o'clock. Thanks, man. 6 p.m. Thank you. Next up, we have women's softball.